And once again, this uh, devotion comes a couple blocks uh, from my home. And in the background, we have all hundreds and hundreds of, of sheep. The verse we've really been focusing on this week comes from John chapter 10, verses 2 through 5, where Jesus says, I am the good shepherd, and my sheep hear my voice. We've been talking about how do we cultivate really hearing the voice of our good shepherd. And I believe right now we are uh, uniquely uh, positioned and we have a unique opportunity as things have quieted down to, to hear his voice. Uh, yesterday, we saw a really interesting situation out here where there was one sheep that was completely isolated from the rest of the flock. And, and the sheep were actually calling to him, trying to draw him away from isolation. And it very much reminded me of the passage where Jesus says that he will leave the 99 in order to find the one. And I believe at a time like this, Jesus is pursuing us. Jesus is constantly pursuing us. And at this point, pursuing us in the aspect of cultivating intimacy with him and hearing his voice. And so we have talked about spiritual practices that help cultivate that. We've talked about memorizing scripture. Uh, yesterday, we talked about uh, mind mapping. And today, I want to talk about using scripture and using some of our mind mapping in order to produce prayer to hear his voice. So our test verse that we've been using is from Colossians um, chapter 3, verse 3, where it says, our lives are now hidden with God in Christ. And so this was the mind map that uh, I made yesterday. And so what we can do now in order to cultivate his voice is begin to pray um, some of these different things. So for instance, our lives being hidden in with Christ remind us that we are part of his body. So how could we turn that into a sort of prayer? Perhaps it's to utilize our gifts. Perhaps it's to serve others. And then it talks about, well, we should have different interests cultivated, but sometimes that's hard. And so what we can do is begin to use a passage like Colossians 3, 1 through 3, memorize it, do a mind map, and then we can begin to turn that into a form of prayer. And one of the things of writing down our prayers, one of the things it does is it slows us down, it helps prevent distraction, and what that does is it cultivates the ability to better hear his voice. And so I would encourage you, take some time, uh, turn a short passage of scripture, turn it into a prayer, write your prayer out. And if you're not sure where to begin, I would encourage you to begin with Colossians 3, 1 through 3. And as you do, I believe it will deeply enrich your ability to hear the voice of our Good Shepherd.